Hi, I'm Chris Beasley with Gamry Instruments, and in this short video, I'm going to show you how to assemble our QCM cell. So I've completely disassembled the QCM cell so that I can run you through the process. So we first start with picking up our quartz crystal and placing it in the back of our cell, making sure to uh, place the keyhole configuration in the 9 o'clock position. So I drop the crystal in there, making sure that the keyhole configuration is in the 9 o'clock position. Next I would take the BNC connector, place it down, and then screw down these four screws. Make sure each one's snug. And now when I turn it over, I can see that the crystal face is showing uh, outwards. So next I can put my static cell on. Put the capture plate over top and use my two thumb screws to secure it. And there we would have our QCM cell used in a static configuration. If I were doing flow cell work, instead of putting the static cell on, I would have used my flow module in place of the static cell. So the flow module fits in right in the same place. Again, we can use our capture plate to hold the flow module on. We tighten everything down using the thumb screws. And next, we're ready to connect our tubing to the inlet and the outlet. This platinum tube serves as our counter electrode in case we need to do an electrochemical experiment while flowing solution past. This plastic, or this nylon screw in here will come out with a standard Allen key and then we can screw in a reference electrode here. So either way we can, we can run in static mode very easily or we can run in flow mode very easily. Thank you for your time. If you have any more questions or need any more videos, we have plenty available at our website, gamry.com.